The Solomon Aeroblaze is a versatile, light ish weight cushion daily trainer labeled as urban proof. Does it really tick the box as a do it all daily trainer? Well, let's find out. Well, hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. First, I need to let you know that Solomon did send the Aeroblaze to me to review. They're not gonna pay me for this. They're not gonna see this ahead of time and they're not gonna have any influence over my thoughts. I'm gonna share the complete honest truth like always. First, we're gonna talk about the stats of the Solomon Aeroblaze. First off, it is a neutral road running shoe. There's a fair amount of twist and flexibility to this shoe. It is Solomon's moderate level of cushioning and labeled as a standard width by Solomon standards. The stack height of the Aero Blaze is 32 millimeters in the rear and 24 millimeters in the front for an eight millimeter drop. And my men's size 11 weighed in at 9.4 ounces or 269 grams. That's really a pretty decent weight for a daily trainer. And finally, I should mention the Aero Blaze is made from recycled pet bottles like, you know, the water bottles uh, and material waste. So it is environmentally friendly. And I should also note the length of the shoe is true to size for the most part. We'll talk a little bit more about the fit in just a few moments. Hey, real quick before we move on, once you scroll down, click that thumbs up if you're learning something about this Aero Blaze right here. I would really appreciate it. It helps out the video and my channel a ton. The upper of the Solomon Aero Blaze is an engineered mesh designed to be durable, provide a little bit of flexibility and support at the same time, and also be breathable. However, as you can see on the tissue test, when I put that hair dryer on low, the tissue went up a little bit, you know, a decent amount. But then when I switched it on high, the tissue went up pretty quickly and pretty well, showing it's decently breathable. It's really not the best shoe that I've tested and it's not the worst either. When running, it also felt about average as far as airflow is concerned. My foot never really got overheated, but again, I was only running in like 50 degree temperatures. So I think if it was a really hot environment, this could potentially get warm, but so far it feels pretty darn good. The upper is Solomon Sensifit construction, which is designed to give you a premium step in experience is what they call it. The overall feel is quite comfortable and the Sensifit construction does give a good secure fit. Part of that Sensifit construction are these overlays that you see on the side here. It's on both sides of the shoe and that does provide a fair amount of support to that upper, which really helps kind of lock it in once you get those laces really snug down. As for the toe box of the Aeroblaze, really it's uh, one of the wider ones on Solomon that I have ever tested. First time I put this on my foot, it really took a little bit to get dialed in to fit my foot well, because there was a lot of extra material here. I had to really cinch these laces down pretty good, which you can kind of see here. So if you have a wider forefoot, I think this would probably work pretty well for you. The midfoot is again average. It's not too narrow and it's not too wide either. It's really just about average. So if you have a really wide midfoot, this might not work for you, but for the most part, I think this should work for most runners. As you can see, the Aeroblaze has Solomon's traditional lacing system. This is not a speed lace system. Really no issues with the actual system itself. The laces are very thin. They tie well, never came untied. My only issue was there was just a lot of them. They're very long. Uh, like I said, I had to tuck them in and uh, yeah, they were quite long. The tongue itself is really nicely padded. It's not overly thick, but it's not thin either. It's, it's really uh, quite nice. It provides plenty of protection over the top of your foot. You're not gonna have those laces digging in whatsoever. I should also note that the uh, tongue is not gusseted on either side of the shoe. However, it was not an issue for me. I never had an, any problem with the tongue sliding around or any fit issues. As far as the rear of the shoe, the heel cup here, it's really nicely padded also. Uh, I never had any issues of discomfort. It just fit and hugged that heel really well, especially when you combine it with the sense of fit construction over the whole upper, the lacing system, the heel counter, which is pretty flexible. It provides a really nice secure lockdown and it felt good running. One thing about this heel cup back here, which you can see is this is pretty, pretty high. It sticks up quite a bit. However, it did not rub my Achilles at all. So it really was not an issue. Moving on to the midsole of the Aeroblaze. This is made from EVA and Olefin. It's designed to be a long lasting cushioned foam. Uh, it's called Energy Foam from Solomon. And like I said, it's designed for that lightweight, responsive, bouncy feel. However, I got to disagree with that just a little bit to be totally honest with you guys. I uh, really didn't get any of that responsiveness or that bouncy feel out of the shoe. To me, it felt just okay. It's really nothing special. It has the cushion needed for those long runs and it's not a pillowy experience whatsoever. But I got to say it feels uh, like just now, just touching the, you know, pushing my foot into the midsole here, it's quite dense. And that's kind of how it felt on the ride as well, underfoot, it was kind of a dense experience. That's not to say that the ride was not comfortable because it is a fairly comfortable shoe to run in for those longer miles. However, 
I just didn't get any of that real responsive or bouncy feel that Solomon claims from this midsole. The Aeroblaze really reminds me of the Solomon Spectre right here, this shoe. The only difference really is this is a lighter weight shoe and it doesn't have the energy blade. Now that I think about it, honestly, that's I think that's kind of where the shoe came from, is they took the energy blade out of this and uh, add a little more stack height and got the Aeroblaze. I don't know, maybe, but it's very similar. And the outsole of the Solomon Aeroblaze is their Rode Contra Grip Rubber. And this is actually uh, quite a sticky compound. I had no issues with this in testing. I ran with it in uh, snow, like light snow, some ice, rain, concrete, asphalt, uh, treadmill, all of that. No issues whatsoever. Honestly, I was a little bit surprised. And I think a big part of that is due to the construction of this outsole. You can see it's a very wide and flat lug on these. So it provides a wide contact patch for those hard surfaces like concrete, greenways, things like that. So again, I had no issues with traction from the Aeroblaze. It really did a fantastic job. One interesting thing about this outsole, and it, it's kind of part of the midsole to be honest, is this what they call a geometric decoupling right here, this groove that run, it runs the length of the, uh, the midsole or the outsole here basically. And as you can see, it provides quite a bit of flexibility. You can see this moving and collapsing right here when you do that. Um, it's just, it's interesting. It definitely provides a little more flexibility underfoot, which it felt nice on the run. As far as durability of this Contra Grip Road compound here, I don't think it's gonna be any issues. I think this is gonna last for quite a long time. As for the price of the Solomon Aeroglide, it retails for 140 US dollars. Just for reference, that is $10 more than the substantially heavier uh, Solomon Spectre here, and $20 less than the maximally cushioned Solomon Aeroglide here. Stay tuned, review coming on that. So the Solomon Aeroblaze is on the lower end of their 2023 road lineup this year. So the bottom line of the Solomon Aeroblaze is this is a daily training shoe that is just okay. It's not an exciting shoe to run in, but what it is, is a very durable shoe. I think this is gonna last you quite a long time. So if you're someone that maybe can only get one pair of daily trainers to log your miles in, I think this shoe is gonna provide a lot of value to you. So be sure to let us know below if you have tested the Aeroblaze, if you tried it, if you had any issues, if you had any durability concerns, or if you loved the shoe in the ride, let us know below. I'm sure everyone would really appreciate those comments. And while you're down there, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and give the video a like, that would be much appreciated. And maybe click subscribe and you'll see more content like this in the future. Well, if you have not already, why don't you take a look at the Solomon Spectre 4 review since this is a kind of similar shoe. It's on your screen, take a look at that. Or on the other side will be a playlist of some other Solomon shoes to check out also. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you all and I'll see you on the next one.